Following Dr. Paul Rothman's death, AIDS Research Alliance moved forward with his dream of a community-based alliance dedicated to quickly researching the drugs that might slow or stop the AIDS epidemic. It was 1994 or 1995. Our CEO was a young man named Greg Britt, dedicated, uh, intelligent guy. The first thing that I saw was the blinding passion of the board and the founders and the staff of the organization. There's this disease nobody understood. Our founders died. The board members were dying. You know, every time we lost somebody, it was both incredibly sad and difficult, but also reminded us of exactly why we were doing what we were doing and why we needed to work even more tirelessly and work even more aggressively to make sure that we didn't lose anybody else. Well, Greg and Steve Brown, Dr. Steve Brown, who's still our medical director, developed a, a business plan to actually do paid research for drug companies. In 1994, AIDS Research Alliance made the strategic decision to accept funded studies from pharmaceutical companies also working on anti-HIV drugs. The decision paid off. And I know that that was one of the issues that the organization was struggling with, was did the organization want to be sort of the, the drug development underground, if you will, or was the organization going to function more as a part of the establishment? We received uh, the first um, pharmaceutical contract, if you will, from Agaron for Virocept, protease inhibitor. And that was the first really significantly funded study that we did. We don't do just any sponsored research. We primarily look for uh, areas that we've identified in our strategic plan significant and, and capable of making a large uh, impact scientifically. So we were sort of, you know, had our arms wrapped around both ends of the spectrum. We were doing things that were sort of outside the norm and we're pushing the envelope and, and sort of our other arm firmly wrapped around more mainstream science that, you know, had FDA approval. In the early days of protease inhibitors, we were very much involved in a lot of that work. That has been the cornerstone for saving lives. We've been involved in more than half of the, of the HIV studies which have resulted in, in the cocktail that we, we currently use. With its community-based model, AIDS Research Alliance worked quickly and effectively to help deliver more and more vital treatments to market. When these drugs began to first extend life and then offer the hope of uh, full lives, people had to change their thinking. They went through two shocks, you know, people who actually were fortunate enough to live to see protease inhibitors in 1996, 95, 96, um, had to actually explore what it would be like to actually live a full life because they weren't prepared to do so. We know people who are alive today who wouldn't be alive had it not been for that research. So we know what research can accomplish. And I was so thankful to make it into the study. Changed my life. And to be able to participate so that people that come later would benefit from something that happened to me was just, well, it was so rewarding because I was actually so excited to be a part of what I felt was history in the making. We've come a long way. I think the sad thing is uh, people coming into it now don't realize that. We have changed the science. The organization is kind of like the, like the, the little engine that could. We know also that as recently as 2006, according to the CDC, that three million years of life have been saved in the United States alone as a result of the research, not just that we've done, but that's been done to develop the drugs that, that are now commonly used for the treatment of HIV. I didn't realize how cutting edge it was until probably I um, had spent a decade in HIV research and then looking back and reflecting on the number of drugs that got to market to treat the disease was ph phenomenal. ARA's success has meant it can continue to advance its own original research. 
those industry um, collaboration clinical trials did generate and do continue to generate significant revenue for the organization so that more and more, if not every single privately raised dollar, goes directly to funding independent research that nobody else will do. We wanted to do self-funded work that no one else was doing, and pursuing things that no for-profit company would pursue. I'm really glad to see the organization still here and still going. And the work that is being done here is extraordinary and exceptional. I can't say thank you enough.